Jack goes solo. Princess Eugenie's fiancé looks dapper in a suit for a restaurant opening in London, while his royal wife-to-be stays at home. His royal wedding is just a week away, but Jack Brooks Spank still found time to let his hair down on Wednesday night. Jack, 31, made a rare public appearance without his fiancé Princess Eugenie, 28, as he attended the launch party of Italian restaurant Harry's Bar in Marylebone, London. The star-studded bash had a guest list that included Laura Whitmore and Jenny Falconer. Jack, the European brand manager at George Clooney's Casamigos Tequila, cut a dapper figure in a sharp navy suit, which he wore with a red patterned tie and brown brogues. He posed for a snap in the stylish restaurant, which had cozy wood-paneled interiors. Jack appeared to be attending the event solo as Princess Eugenie didn't seem to be among the guests. With just nine days to go before their wedding, the party will be one of the last nights out he has as a single man. Eugenie and Jack will tie the knot at St. George's Chapel, the same venue as Harry and Meghan's main nuptials, followed by a carriage procession through Windsor. The couple will have a reception hosted by the Queen at Windsor Castle, followed by a more intimate reception at the Royal Lodge, the York's family home, the next day. Buckingham Palace announced details of ITV's royal wedding coverage yesterday after reports the BBC declined to televise the couple's big day. The broadcaster will air live coverage of the wedding in an extended this morning special, presented by Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford. Earlier today the couple's official wedding china was revealed, which hinted that Jack will not receive a title in the couple may. The china features the the couple's official monogram, which does not feature a crown. Unlike Harry and Meghan's, as well as Eugenie's individual insignia, which both do. The speculation comes after previous rumors that Jack could be given the vacant title Earl of North Allerton. However, a palace source has previously insisted the Queen would not be gifting Jack an official title following the wedding.